I am here today because I am worried about you guys. I want to make sure you guys can save some money. So my goal today is to help you guys save 500 bucks. And over the, the next 30 minutes or so, you guys are going to learn on how you can save $500 if you want to. And all my customers that have gone down this route have saved $500 or more with maybe a half an hour worth of work. So let's get into how you guys can get a free trial of YouTube TV and save 500 bucks. So for most part, people are paying somewhere in the range of $150 to $200 for a bundled package of, of cable, uh, whether it's with Cox, Spectrum, AT&T or whatever. Um, it's pretty standard that you know, you're paying somewhere in the range of $60 for internet, um, you know, somewhere in the range of another $100 for a cable package, and then you, know, you got $20 or, or more for your phone line. So most people are paying somewhere, like I said, around $200, and that's ridiculous. And so I don't think it's really that people are like resistant because they're afraid it's not gonna be good enough. I think people are just lazy, or some people are just like, eh, it's good enough. But it's a tremendous amount of money that you guys pay per month when cable bills. And so if you could just get a $50 check per month, I know you would. And YouTube TV is good enough that you should just do it. So first let me go over why YouTube TV is good and then we'll go over how to do it. So first of all, what does it give you and how does it differ from your cable? So first of all, YouTube TV has like 75 channels. It has all the local channels, so you're not losing anything there. It has um, all the sports channels like uh, ESPN and TNT, TBS, things like that. It has um, the local ones like Fox Sportsnet. Um, for, local San <clears throat> for local San Diego, they have um, the, the Padre channel and all that. So you're getting the sports. Um, it has the local channels, and then it has a lot of the entertainment channels as well, like Bravo, uh, E, and so on. So you get 75 channels. A lot of people um, don't really understand how much you know channels or how many channels that is until they really see the lineup, so I'll show you the lineup. But it's, it's very robust, and for $50 a month, you can't beat that. Um, and not only does it have 50, or I'm sorry, not only does it have 75 channels, but it also has DVR services. So you can use the cloud DVR to record as much programming as you want. Um, you can record the same programs every day. Uh, it does it for 90 days, I believe. So, I mean, it's unlimited DVR. Uh, when you're on it, you can sit there and rewind and go back to the beginning of, uh, of shows that you're watching right then and there. You can pause and skip all the commercials on an award show or a sports program if you're watching that. So it has everything cable has. And again, it's only 50 bucks. So um, if you're paying $200 a month and you get internet and YouTube for 110, that's 80 bucks a month right there. That's over $900 a year savings. So that's double what I said I'd, I'd save you. So <clears throat> 500 bucks is the goal. So I want you guys to try this out. And here's the coolest part about this. You can try it out for free. They have a, uh, I think it's a 14 day trial right now. So you don't even have to do anything different than just try it. And I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to try YouTube TV. So all you have to do is pick up your phone right now. I mean, you can just use it. You can do it on your computer. You can do it on your TV, but the TV will prompt you to do it on the phone or computer. So you pick up your phone and you go to this uh, this domain, or which is tv.youtube.com forward slash start. Okay. So go ahead and do that. And when you do that, you're going to get to the YouTube uh, the the YouTube TV ch page. And it's going to show you kind of the channels and all that stuff. And you're just going to hit start. It may prompt you to download the program, uh, to download the YouTube TV program on your, phone, on your iPhone or on your Samsung phone. That's okay. Go ahead and do that. And you're going to go through uh, some of the prompts. You're going to need a Gmail account. So make sure you have a Gmail account or sign up for one real quick. It's super easy to do. Uh, and then once you log in with your Gmail, it's going to take you through a series of prompts. Uh, it's going to ask for a credit card. And again, it's $49 a month if you don't cancel within that 14-day uh, starting period or trial period. Um, it's very easy to cancel your membership, whether you're in, you know, in a month or you haven't done and you haven't paid yet. You can just go into the settings and hit cancel membership. It's super easy. It's not a runaround like a lot of other things. You don't have to like 
do you know like AT&T for example you have to call like three different departments just to cancel and then they still they still try to talk you down so YouTube TV is great because all you have to do go into settings hit cancel membership and you're done and there's some other cool things in the settings that you can do like reorder uh, which channels are there um, and uh, which channels come up first but that's after you enjoy the pro after you enjoy this app which I know you will but again back to uh, setting it up so we're just gonna go in and we're gonna Sign up, enter your credit card information. It won't charge you now. It's not gonna charge you until that trial's done. Um, so go ahead and do that. And then once you have set that all up, you're good to go. And you can check it out on your phone. You can see it has a few, um, like, uh, you know, if the home screen has a few things that you may wanna watch. Uh, if you go to the right, it has the live programs where you can see them in order of like each channel. And on the left side, you can check out the library and I'm sure you haven't recorded anything yet because you just got this. So you can, uh, so you can, you can record things and then you can watch them later. Okay. Now what you want to do to get that on your TV is you want to go and like turn on your TV or your Roku or your Apple TV or your fire TV. And you want to go and download the same thing. You want to download the YouTube TV app. And once you download that app and you have it opened, you're going to choose sign in because you've already signed in once on your phone and you already have that account set up. So now what you have to do is go and click on the sign in button. And what it does on all these different devices is it gives you a code and you need to go back to your phone and again, type in on your phone, the domain tv.youtube.com forward slash start. And in that area, you're going to put in this code that you see on your TV or your device right now. And then it's gonna walk you through verifying that you're okay with allowing that TV or that device to have access to your YouTube TV account. And so you can do this on any device in the house, phones, you know, any, any phone or any tablet or any um, device that has a YouTube TV app can have this on there. And once you log in once, you'll never have to do it again and you'll have access to cable on every single one of these devices with no cable box, you know, no cords, no extra fees for a cable box or no extra fee for using HD services, just that $50 a month, that's it. And if you have uh, you know, roommates or if you have uh, kids or parents that don't watch TV that often and you wanna give them your account information, you guys can actually use the same account across different households. So uh, whether your grandparents may be watching it on vacation or you can watch TV while you're getting your oil changed, I mean, YouTube TV is fantastic for these reasons. And again, it all comes back to saving $500 a year or more. So um, so go through the app now and just check it out and see what you like. Scroll through the different channels, watch some programming. As you use it for the next seven or 14 days, it's gonna start to learn what you watch and when you watch it. And so when you turn it on, on uh, you know, at certain times of the day, it's gonna pop up and that news channel you watch is gonna be right there or that sporting event is gonna be right at the top and it's gonna know what you wanna watch. It's even cooler than cable in that respect. And you can always go to live TV to the right or you can go to your library to the left and it's very easy to use. So I want you guys to try it. I want you to try it for seven or 14 days here, whatever the trial is. And I will guarantee you that you are not gonna go back to cable once you do this. So check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, let me know how you like this compared to any other streaming services. Uh, make sure to go ahead and pound the like button, subscribe for more videos like this, and just keep watching so you can be the installer.